Karen Bryant for MMA Mahita. I'm here with Dana White. Dana, this was the sixth defense that George St. Pierre went through tonight successfully, but does it excite you more to see a reigning champ like that dominate, or do you prefer to see sort of a changing of the guard and get that excitement? It is what it is. I mean, whatever happens in there happens. Mm -hmm. Every fight isn't going to be the most exciting fight you've ever seen, even if it's a title fight and even if it's George St. Pierre or whoever it is. And, uh, you know, uh, George St. Pierre keeps proving that he, you know, you got to look at the competition he's fighting. I mean, if you watch primetime or anything else, you saw how, what a real guy Jake Shields is. This guy hasn't lost in five years. He's on a uh, 15, uh, six years and a 15 fight win streak. And uh, George St. Pierre beat him tonight. Mm -hmm. No, I've followed Jake and known him for several years. I've covered him, you know, in Elite XC and Striker. So I know how good he is. I know tonight he didn't implement his game plan, but do you think he did make a case for himself as a fighter who deserves to be here in the UFC, deserves to be fighting the champ? No doubt about it. Um, he, he, he had a, a rough showing against Martin Campman, mm -hmm. which a lot of people judged him on, but the real Jake Shields is the one who who took uh, Dan Henderson down at will. You know, the crazy thing is, is that w when you look, when you evaluate GSP and you look at this thing, and a lot of people want to criticize him, look at how many times Jake Shields took uh, Dan Henderson down. And I know how much everybody respects his wrestling. He couldn't take G GSP down at all. Mm -hmm. Well, and I made a point, I sort of tweeted halfway through that by the third round, Kozchek was a mess. Jake was fine. It's true, good you know. point, yep. So. By the first round, Koscheck was a mess. Right, right. I want to talk about Randy a little bit. We're going to miss him. I mean, he, he, he's such an icon. Are there any fighters coming up that you see, I don't know if they remind you of Randy, but you think have that same quality, that sort of unifying thing that you don't ever really root against Randy and everybody likes him. You know, is there somebody that can maybe carry that, that mantle? I think John Jones has that personality. Mm -hmm. You know, John Jones is a guy that's hard to not like. Mm -hmm. He's a very likable guy. He's a very talented guy. Um, you know, I, I think John Jones has the potential to be a huge superstar. Mm -hmm. Any chance of you getting Seagal on the payroll as a coach or anything? <laughs> I, I listen, this whole thing's crazy, man. I, I, again, I walked out of the octagon tonight and Seagal goes, we worked on that. I taught him that, told him to throw that kick tonight. I was like, cool. Uh, yeah, listen, I, the funny thing is a lot of people, <clears throat> because these guys are movie martial artists, you know, they like to make fun. I always had a lot of respect for Steven Seagal. I always liked his movies. Um, so, you know, it's, it's fun. It's kind of cool to see uh, the, the crossover there. Right. What do you think you're going to do with somebody like Vladimir Matyshenko? He's 40, but obviously showed tonight he's still got knockout power. He's in great shape. I've seen him train a lot. What do you do with a guy like him? He's a guy who sticks around, you know. Vladdy's been, uh, Vladdy's been Vladdy for a lot of years. You know, he's he's been right at that cusp right there, but never really gotten over the hump. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And at his age, he's still, like you said, he's still out there. We'll see what happens in his next fight. Right. And I mentioned this during the press conference, but you, we talk about the bonuses tonight. It was great that they were so much higher, $129,000, which is pretty sweet. Yeah. We get a reporter of the night bonus. Yeah. I want to put my hat in the mix for that one. But um, we, we, I sort of joked but with Rory McDonald with, with the takedowns, and it's so crowd-pleasing. The idea of throw dough has got to be a little bit interesting to you. Throw dough. <laughs> <laughs> the Rodo. I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't think uh, I'm, I'm going to stick to my traditional, yeah. you know, knockout, fight of the night, and submission. Right. All right. And last question. You said Antarct Antarctica did not buy in to the tickets tonight. What are we going to do about that? It pisses me off, man. How the hell do we not have one fan that wanted a ticket from Antarctica? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to fly down there and do a PR tour. Did you at least get a PPV buy? I, I don't know. I'm going to have to check. You know what's funny? I'm seriously going to check that out. I'm seriously going to look into that. Awesome. Well, you know what? It was a great success, and uh, I just had a blast, so congratulations to you. Thank you, and thanks for everything. We appreciate it. Thanks. All right. That was great. Thanks. Congrats. Mwah. Appreciate it. Hey, go Celts. Good night. <laughs> I'm UFC President Dana White, and you're watching MMA Heat.